23 years ago as I started the Children's Hour, as we produce it now, we had come upon a landscape of public radio that really lacked children's programming except for the Children's Hour. And I was a volunteer at KUNM FM where we were lucky we had carved out an hour for all ages public radio content. Flash forward 17 years, we started a nonprofit called the Children's Hour Incorporated in order for the show to have legs and support and a team behind us because it had really grown beyond a volunteer effort. We learned that across public radio, children's content is incredibly rare. When it does exist, it tends to be just playing music and really not digging into the potential of how radio could be used as an educational tool for kids of all ages. We involve a large crew of actual children who are not professional actors or media people. They're kids. They're part of a free after school program that the Children's Hour runs in order to teach kids broadcasting skills, but even more importantly, people skills, how to talk to adults, and how to dig into a topic with a scientist and really find out what they know. We went from being a willy-nilly, only on Saturday mornings live radio program to today where we're syndicated on more than 150 radio stations around the United States and Canada. And the show now has dozens of kids participating, doing things from field recording and creating their own reviews to kids having interviews with some of today's most important leaders in their fields. We have had amazing projects with teachers, from bird watching with kids at Valle Vista, to hearing about kids doing outdoor education projects across the state of New Mexico. We're just always happy to collaborate with teachers to help showcase their kids in a way that maybe has never been done before for these kids. And we hope it inspires them to consider that they have a voice that matters. We at the Children's Hour are so honored to be receiving the Creative Bravos Award. It's really unexpected because often I don't think of our work as art. It feels to me like what we're doing is a collaboration with the wonderful people of our city and our community to create educational programming. And as we are thrilled to accept this award from the city of Albuquerque, we're also incredibly humbled by the support of our community who every day let me know how much the Children's Hour means to them. And I appreciate every single one of the hundreds of kids who have been on the radio with me on the Children's Hour. Thank you all so much for giving us this incredible opportunity. We're just delighted.